and welcome to an Engage review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Bubble Car Class 121 in BR Blue and Grey from Dapple. So first impressions, standard Dapple box. The model looks brilliant even though I haven't even taken it out of the box, as you can probably tell on the camera. It was down from £129 to £109.99. Uh, this model was purchased from the Colonel Model Railway Shop in Cornwall. So let's take it out of the box and see what it's like. As always, you always get some instruction and uh, mechanical warranty sheets. So I'll just wipe them. And another one in the box, which this one looks like it's more to do with the maintenance and running of the model. That other one was more or less your warranty in case it ever goes wrong. So here we have the sheet showing where you would put the DCC plug if you ever want to go down the route of digital control. And where you're supposed to oil it. And also to tell if the little gears here are worn out. And on the other side it gives us various information running on power types and you, about fitting a light bar as well. So, very important to keep really for the engines in case you have any problems. So that's the boring bit as I always call it out of the way so let's go on and take the model out of the box. Like any model you always get some bags of bits for the engine. See what have we got in here. We've got some knuckle couplings and some pipes and coupling chain for the model. And what else is in there? And here we have two couplings of Dapple's Easy Shunt, which are Buckeye couplings, really, like KD couplings. So if you're not sure what type of couplings they are, um, think of them as like the ones you see on American trains. The, the, that's the kind they are. So let's get the model out of the box and see what it really is like. So move the box to one side a minute. And here we are. It, it is just amazingly detailed, this model, just from looking at it. First impressions. Just give you a general good overview of it. The model number, what well, the model number of the loco they've done is Western Region W55032. And say so the detail on it, and I know I've already said it's just exquisite. I mean, I work on a DMU full size, and I know generally what's on a DMU and what's what, and the details of what those parts look like, and they have really done it well. For example, that is your battery box there, uh, that's your radiator for the engine, air tanks, um, where those tiny blue marks are there. I don't know if my finger is hiding it. That's your engine, your exhaust and several other parts like the back this is the heater for the train above there so they really have got the details spot on and of course at one end of a bubble car you've got your uh, exhaust pipes going at the top now it's just amazing the detail on it I don't know if you can see through the windows with the way the light is in the room, but you, they've even modelled an interior in there, which is just great. And you probably won't see it on the camera, but they have even done the detail in the driver's area, so that is just fantastic. So I think what we should do now is pop it on the track and see what it's like. Like with any model, they always require running in time, so I'll be running this for about 45 minutes in each direction.
So, running in has now finished. So what do I think of the model? Well, absolutely brilliant. It's a good runner, good performance. The detail on it is brilliant. So, to sum it up, it's brilliant. It's just good. So, I think now I'm going to do a bit of a theme of autos and rail cars with the pannier tank. So, thanks for watching the video and see you on the next one.